Hello creative minds, I am Daria Gosa, fashion photographer, and today we have a question. Is Photoshop artificial intelligence could replace all graphic designers and all professional editors? Keep watching this video until the end and you will find out. Photoshop AI is in beta version right now and you could download it in your Creative Cloud account. So you cannot use those images which is created there for commercial use. As you already know, AI learning so fast and changing so many industries. Editing is not an exception. Let's check it out. If it could be a very useful and essential tool for my future work as a photographer and editor, or it could replace me at all. So first of all, it's look like same as any other Photoshop, but there is really cool feature, which is right here. It's like AI living right inside the Photoshop. And how it could help us? First of all, and one of my favorite features, for example, if I would like to expand my photo, I opened a beautiful shot, but I just like to have a little bit more of the view and just selecting the image and leaving a little bit of the border, then inversing it, and then just use generative fill with no any other prompt. Just leave it space. So let's see what it would generate for us. Oh, that's perfect result, almost the perfect, I would say. That's the second option, and I think the third one is really nice. If you're not really happy with the result which it generated for you, you could try and generate again, and for the next time it will give you again like three uh, other options. In the previous version of the Photoshop, usually when I should fill the space. I was using the fill option and contents content aware. It was working good but not so good as Photoshop AI. Let's just try it. I feel like left side it's doing like okay but the right side is going a little bit crazy and also this line it's not continue on the top it's look a little bit weird. Also, there is some artifacts from the left side. Let's try to run Photoshop AI. Other option what I really like about the new Photoshop AI tool, it's removing the things perfectly. For example, after this filling composition, I don't really like this line and this one. And it could remove it perfectly. Let's check it out. So you can see how it's removed this thing perfectly and also as I told you I don't really like this kind of reflection so I would select it. If you'd like to remove things you don't need to write anything in the prompt just leave it leave the space empty and just press generate to fill. My god that's an amazing result. It's look more visually powerful and more impressive much more impressive. I would save this image, I really like it. And I also like how it's adding this line right from the corner. The composition looks very nice. If you'd like to expand your image and using generative tool like to fill the empty space, it's one of the best options of using the new Photoshop AI. The one issue which I could say if you're using this generative tool, especially like adding extra space, so it was kind of drawing other kind of buildings. And if you have a series of photos, like on the same spot, same location, kind of same angle, but a little bit different, it would generate you every time differently. And that could be an issue. So I really like this image too. I'd like to expand it a little bit. And then my idea was to add in a little bit of the water reflection on the floor. I would say that selection here is very important. So I selected a space where I'd like to add a reflection. 
and I'm just putting in the prompt water reflection. Try to use nouns and adjectives. You don't need to say add water reflection. It's better just to say water reflection. Okay, not really. Let's run this generative tool one more time. If you're going right on the person, it would start to generate like crazy things. When you're generating other variation, you could try to change your prompt, for example. Mm, I would say just reflection. I like how it's generating water and reflection, but I don't really like what's doing with the arm. Just go back to the selection and I will adjust the selection. This something looks like almost real. It takes time to generate a good variation which you would like and you could really use, but also the problem that it's always unexpected. It depends on how you select. What are you writing in prompt? It's really very, very unexpected. So the other thing with what Photoshop AI could help you is to add in some accessories which you probably forgot to wear or just like to improve the image and add in some, for example, like on this image, I'd love to add necklace. For me, like kind of like I'm wearing right now, like kind of choker. Let's try to do it. First of all, we're doing selection. And when you're doing selection, try to draw where you exactly like it and how it's supposed to be. Like for example, like this, I would say crystal choker, maybe crystal pink choker. I'm so excited what it would generate for me. Hmm. It's something, I really like how it's adding and also doing the same shadows, like it's seeing where the light in it was and how it's supposed to be added. Uh, I think I wasn't perfect with my selection because it's finishing here and here, so let's adjust the selection. And also I'm adjusting the prompt. I'm trying to do, be more specific, like pink crystal choker on the neck. <laughs> I would say this one is kind of perfect. And let's try just, maybe pink it's too much. Let's try just crystal choker. And actually I was just telling that I like the shadow and hits look weird. I don't know why it's going this way. This one's better too. Let's generate it one more time. Outside, this one it's very good. <sighs> why? Maybe I should change my hair for it? Red hair. It did pretty amazing job. Wow. So look really nice. Let's look a little bit fake for me, but hold on. Let's look very, very nice. It's for the first image just changing a little bit of my face. But this one. Yeah, this one is look perfect. Even from the first time, from the first try. Hmm, I love it. Uh, let's also try to change the background. I'm using select the subject. From the one click, it's selected perfectly, just a little bit hair from the side, but I think it's supposed to be fine. Uh, then we're doing the inverse of selection. Ooh. Oh my god, that's something interesting. Fabric. I hope for the better result right now. Ooh, I love this one. With my new red hair. That's something interesting. It already looks very impressive, right? 
I like this kind of backdrop, it's so cool. New version of Photoshop allows to generate text to image, so let's test it out. I would say Happy Golden Retriever is catching the food in there. Let's try it. I look pretty good. It looks almost like a picture. It's really good. I'm impressed. Hmm. It's really good result. I'm surprised. Honestly surprised. <laughs> oh, he's catching cheetahs. <laughs> let's copy this prompt and let's try to put it in Firefly and just it's to text to image Adobe products and let's just see the difference between them. We in the Firefly and I'm just copying the same prompt which I used in Photoshop and let's just see what it would generate. Let's switch for the photo. It's even hard to say, I really like this image. It's not look like food, but it's look like a food, yeah. This one is really good. The hand is not good at all. So as for now, we wasn't spending a lot of time of doing this image. Using the same prompt, I would say that Firefly get better result than Photoshop. Next time I will tell you much more about Firefly and we could compare it with the Photoshop AI. I saw two Adobe products, see what is better and for what kind of use. From my personal opinion, I would say that Firefly did much better job than Photoshop. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to know more about Firefly and how it's working, how you could use it. And I would say it's really cool too. That's a really nice image. I like everything here. But what about if we... One of my dreams is going to Hawaii, so... I was thinking if we could add some kind of green mountains, like the background of Hawaii, and it could look cooler. Let's try it. That's a very dramatic shot. With the snowy mountains on the background. Let's generate one more time. This one I would say the best what we have. It's changing a little bit of her drink. The drink, I would say the first image is the best, but let's generate one more time. They're just like not even the photograph. Why? Let's try one more time. I would uh, adjust my prompt. Pretty good. Okay, let's see what else we could do. And here I'd like to get long, beautiful red dress. So I would say it to AI that I'd like red, long dress. Honestly, that's not what I was expected. I adjusted my selection. That's one something. That look like kind of different fabrics. I don't like the shape here. This one look very natural, but I just don't like it. I think as for now, this one is my best option, but let's try one more time. Let's look weird. Honestly, like super weird. Ooh, I like this one. So I, I think I would stay with this or this. I think this one. I would just adjust it a little bit. Okay, now I'm happy with the result with the dress. It's so great. As I told you before, Photoshop AI is really good with the clean background. And I remember when I was doing this photo shoot, it was super dirty beach. So for this photograph, it was taking a lot of time to clean the sand from the seaweed. But let's see if the AI could do it much better and faster. So that's the original image. You see how a lot, a lot of the seaweed here. So I would try to select it. So 
So let's leave it empty and try to generate. This one is pretty good result, actually. This one, it looks like kind of rocks. What it did, it was perfect. I'm really happy with that result. First of all, I'd like to see if it could replace this um, shadow. It's perfect that we have different options as well. <laughs> Maybe it's better to do like side by side. Cool. Tell me when. Wow. That's really cool. Oh my god. I think like this. Or oh, this. Oh my god. For the composition, I would say the first one. But I think the more realistic one is the third one. <laughs> I'm going wild. Pretty amazing. It was beautiful image, small one, a little bit shade on the side. And then we came from the whole different world. Let's add some clouds. Wow. It look nice, but kind of fake. I'm just adjusting the prompt. I'm saying small clouds blended into the image. I like kind of this result. It look natural, but I just don't really like the composition of those three clouds right here and then like nothing. I could try to generate one more time or otherwise I could use this image just deleting one cloud in the middle a little bit less of opacity and it works perfectly as for today i would say that photoshop ai wouldn't replace professional editors and graphic designers it's a great tool and great opportunity of using it you should still have specific skills also skills for generating it being patient and plus if it's generating something wrong but did something good you could adjust it unfortunately it's a not a magic button which you could press and in one second generate the perfectly image sometimes it could work and this really amazing result how you were seeing today but sometimes and most of the times in do, it doing completely wrong you could see how from each year to year ai coming to each industry and changing it is it good or is it bad you to decide but personally i think it's really nice and great tools if you enjoyed watching this video please give me a like hit subscribe button and see you next time.